we've already seen kind of a stormy day in some places, but with Max Defender 8 using that uh, S-band technology, we can see all the way out here in the Gulf of Mexico, that's where the heaviest and the strongest storms are now. This is where the cold front is located, and it's less than 50 miles now away from us. I mean, we were tracking it yesterday in Dallas, so you can see how fast it has moved. And this little batch of rain out ahead of it, it's actually exiting out of our area. So we're kind of drying up for the moment in Citrus County. We're kind of drying up for the moment in Pasco County, in Hernando and Pasco counties. Where it's not drying out, though, another rain area pushing on shore right along the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Yep. We've said this before, we're in Bradenton, this will be heading up I-75 into Hillsborough County. Gulf Gate Estates, you're getting some of the heavy rain. We go down farther into Sarasota County. Some strong storms over I-75 now moving into the southwest portion, uh, or southern portion of, of Manatee County. We've got about a quarter of an inch so far of rainfall along Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa. Momentarily, it's dry. But just like everybody, you're going to see multiple rounds of rain through the day today. It's muggy and 77. Winds are coming out of the south. So at 9 a.m., our storms are increasing. And when that cold front arrives between noon and about 3, 4 o'clock today, I really think that's when we could see the stormiest, the gustiest winds. Uh, temperatures will hover right around 80, 81 degrees during that time. Now, by 6 p.m., the cold front is pushing to the south, so there's fewer, sto fewer showers around. I mentioned that potential for some strong storms. This is at slight risk, 2 out of 5. You might see some of those stronger wind gusts, certainly going to see some pockets of heavy rain and that isolated risk of tornadoes. So as we've mentioned, just spotty, hu human spotty rain with humid conditions this morning. Here it is around 2 p.m. Cold front is pushing from northwest to southeast. That's when we're going to see the strongest storms. Then lighter rain as we head into the evening and the winds are going to increase and they're going to stay strong through the next couple of days as light rain pushes off the Gulf of Mexico. So that's where I'm going to send it to Amanda Holly to deal with this wind and rain. Yeah, the severe threat for those storms is really going to diminish tonight, but the winds are going to keep the seas, unfortunately, really rough. So obviously not a good day to get out of the boat today with those severe thunderstorms possible that will be moving through. But even though we have some light showers passing through tomorrow, those winds, check this out, west at 20 to 25 knots still. That's going to keep those seas at 9 to 13 feet offshore with a very short wave period as well. Rough conditions on bay and inland waters on Friday. Get this still on Saturday down to a moderate chop in the bay. Uh, so if you're getting outside, you know, doing some of the, the bay fishing after this cold front moves through, it'll be a moderate chop. If you can hide from the wind, it won't be too bad. Still expect those passing showers, though. Fortunately, by Halloween, those winds are going to be dying down again. Second half of the weekend here still going to be on the cool side. 78 degrees for a high temperature Sunday afternoon. It'll be really nice. Not spooky at all. Those temperatures will be dropping into the 60s pretty quickly as we uh, get those trick-or-treaters in their costumes and out and about asking for some candy. It'll be good for that, but unfortunately, uh, up until then, we're going to be talking about some windy conditions. Yeah, I mean, when we look at this eight-day forecast, the worst day, obviously, is today. I mean, it's stormy. You don't want to be out on the boat. You don't want to be out doing much of anything no. today. <laughs> Even tomorrow, there'll be sunshine, but it'll, then it might cloud up, and then a little, little light rainfall. Little Same thing for through. Saturday. <laughs> the good news is all next week. Pretty Beautiful. spectacular yeah. weather. Just we, got to get through today. We can, we can take that. Yes, yes, we will. All right, Dan, tell us what's wrong with the roads now. 